go shopping. Got the fresh new Robo and it's wave cap. About to be raked off and then uh, clean this thing up a little bit. One of the cleanest cubes in the country. About to bust this thing down. About to bust this thing down. It's the first rev I've ever heard of that thing. <laughs> oh, sh this thing's got a tail light like a coin slot. The back window just confuses me. The whole thing confused me. I want. I just want to know if that's like factory RGB in there because <laughs> I don't know if someone took the time to. Have you seen it? Yeah. You saw the light? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if someone took the time to put that in. It looks pretty legit. It but... looks legit, like OEM. <laughs> what? All right, what's up, guys? So uh, today we got a Nissan Cuban for uh, gonna be a giveaway. It's a joke, guys. It's a joke. It's a joke, but it's. Uh, but you can win it. You can win it. Yes. <laughs> and also, check it out. Bring it down here. Here, open the door. Open the door. <laughs> check this out, dude. You ready? We got different colors for the ambient lighting. Dude, this thing's a whole package, whole package. Oh, going in. We'll give her a couple revs. You ready? Here how she sounds. That sounds so good. It's a good, it's a good station around here. Oh, oh, I got something. Wait, 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 wait. How many lab employees can we fit in a cube? A ton. Dude, I we get a lot. You, I bet you easily all the techs and every service writer could fit in here. Dude, every everything's just manual. Well, check this out. I can I can pull with the grandma stance. Wait up in here. Or you can go pull back. Go around there. Happy and full. You know, uh, back in the day, um, like at Home Depot, they used to have the little carts you used to go into when you were a kid, and it was like the race cars or the, oh. the trucks. This sitting in this reminds me of a bigger Home Depot carriage for kids. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> wait, is that the same key fob as an R34 GTR? Is it? So as you can see right here, we got a nice little service and maintenance guide booklet for this brand new, not new, it's a 2010. Nissan Cube, and this thing's gonna be real special. This is the lowest mileage cube we could find in the entire country, and it's gonna be going to one of you. What's it got? Hey, like 80,000, it's the only thing that's we- That's low? That's, that's the lowest one we could find. So this hot cake of a car is gonna be wrapped up in a Nazitech pearl blue color. If we got the actual color, but you'll see the full fastest wrap we've probably ever done on this thing. I'm gonna guess, how long do you think it'll take? 48 hours. 48 hours, I'll throw that on the clock, it's a good number. 48 hours to get this thing wrapped up, tinted out, wheels powder coated, everything touched up, make this thing look brand new-ish. This isn't the real price. That. 2023A6, come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well this 2023A6 with an RS6 body kit, it's gonna be going to one of you. This thing is in plain Jane condition right now. Not even, we don't even got, it's a good sound of window. We don't even got tent on this thing, but uh, we're gonna do a full lab CT special on this thing, which is built headlights, built headlights by color matching, color match calipers, some aero package, little lowering action. We're gonna lower this thing on ghost links. So that means factory suspension, lowered. This thing's gonna be nasty, real good. The piece de resistance is the HREs we got going on this thing. I'm not gonna say the model yet, but it will hit. This thing is gonna be iced. Oh, not as iced as the cube. Don't forget about the cube. Real car. Oh. This thing will be iced out. This, uh, this whole wagon, first wagon we've ever done. First wagon we've ever had in the shop. First wagon he's ever owned. Good car. I'm gonna make it a little better. John, 
as you can see, uh, nothing too, too crazy. We're gonna you know, do some color matching here and there. I gotta pull off the, the bumpers you know, to get to the headlights and taillights. The reflectors inside that we're gonna get wrapped. Uh, they're a little bit of a pain, so the bumper has to come off anyway. Get those done, and then we got some aftermarket goodies coming in. So uh, Ghost Links, I think, came in today. So if I, uh, if I can get to them, I will. Besides that, it's just pulling stuff off, getting it ready, shipping it out to paint, and uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> as well they're over on steph's bench he's gonna be taking them uh, apart soon um, on this to get the the emblem out so we can color match it uh you kind of have to get behind this kind of skin layer right here it sits like this and has some sensors on it so pull that apart this can go back on now and then we're gonna be working our way to the rear to start pulling the tails in rear bumper pretty much we have the nissan cube ripped apart completely um, we just got to take off a little small pieces but yeah, we just got all the exterior stuff broke apart that way Mike and Zach could start wrapping and uh, start the process of that. So, this is what the cube looks like. Yep, it's all ripped apart. Um, it actually was having a problem with the rear um, latch, so I had to rip that out. Um, that way we could replace it because it wasn't opening. But yeah, so wheels are off. Those are getting sent to powder coat. We're getting um, gloss white. So those are actually gonna look pretty cool when they come back. But yeah, pretty much just everything stripped down, rear bumper, gas tank, cap, uh, handles, front bumper. I left the headlights on. I gotta take these little markers off. That's pretty much it. Nothing like too crazy um, with this build. So yeah, it's just getting wrapped. It's gonna be a nice little paint of wagon. <laughs> 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 Fucking cubes. <laughs> Deal with this nice foam. Safety. Safety comes first. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Dude, this thing is hilarious. The <laughs> first time we've ever used these joints, we have some for the truck too, but this thing's have had to be hard. Look at that. Dude, this is hilarious. <laughs> with a blue wrap. These are the, uh, the Boston Frisbees. Wow. Yeah, let's send this down the road with a blue wrap. Bro, why are we gonna powder coat the wheels? <laughs> just rock these on there. Yo, check this out. Yeah, who needs TPMS? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bossing. I should really turn the cup pressure up on this so I don't have to work as hard when I take all these letters out. But, time constraints, man. Yeah. Embossing. They had like a cool card on one of them. It says fragile, but it's like fragile in the terms of don't fold this thing in half. But our boys at Carbon Imports, not even our boys, they're new, really hooked it up big time on uh, getting us these parts real fast right here. This is uh, the top trunk spoiler and the mid trunk spoiler for the RS6. C8 RS6, if anybody else wants to Google it up, go get yourself one. There's another decal. Hooked up with two decals. Let's see what these bad boys look like. Good packaging. It's key. Damn, it feels like it's got some. That's an extra one. There's one taped on there too. Oh shit! See, I've never had a company do this. This is great. This is wonderful. Shout out to you guys. This is good. We always have to use our own supplies, which I don't mind. But if I'm to include it, money. All right. So wrap well. We're gonna recycle this bubble wrap for anytime someone buys something on there. Hey man, it's already got stuff on it. 
This guy's real. That's a good looking piece of carbon right there. Stamped and everything. These guys are from Canada too, so these, these they came pretty fast. Let's see if I can do a little mock up. Yo! Yo! That thing fits phenomenal. And it's just resting up there right now. That's that's how you know. This thing's not falling off, it's not wonky. Let's see what else we got. Next package. It's gonna be the other half. More goody. Now oh, they already knew what was up. Who's got that ringtone from 1915? I had that ringtone on my first flip phone. <laughs> you had that ringtone? Was that you? Yeah, that's funny calling here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the most confused are taped with maple syrup or something because this shit's strong. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's got good weight to it. But basically, Oh, uh -huh. it's mounted. Alright. That's right there. So that's actually the only arrow we have for this car. It already has like a little bit of like the OEM side skirts are sick. Uh, we were looking for a front lip. Some of the companies have not released some yet and they wouldn't get to us in time. So this is phenomenal. This is going to be good for now. The wheels, everything's going to be come together. Calipers, all that. Fletch is going to love putting the emblems back together. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very hyped for this. Once again, shout out to Carbon Imports. They're huge on it. So once this thing's done, some real good photos. If you need some carbon parts, hit them up. Carbon Imports. So good. That's a plank in my head non-stop while wrapping this car. Last piece on this thing. Oh, f yeah, bud. About 52 inches. 44. Alright, guys. So, uh, we're getting everything back today. Don't mind my, my pee pants. We had a little bit of an accident with the, uh, the washer fluid. It's getting situated. Um, so everything's coming back today for the RS6. We will put everything together. Steph just finished the headlights. As you see here, it had the orange reflectors. Took them apart, painted them. Just a little, little accents to make it look cleaner. Besides that, I mean, everything's going, going back together. It's gonna be a, a full car on the ground. Well, I just realized that we don't have the wheels. I asked Squid and he goes, yeah, they're, they're done. They just have to shift. So everything's gonna be done minus wheels today. So those are, hopefully we're gonna get them in the next couple days. Um, you guys will see, they look great. Freshies, ready to go. So I love the packaging, I always do. Especially this one being the hardware box, this has the center caps, but our boys are at HRE, got these things done in a disgusting amount of time. Like. I can't, I don't even want to say how fast they got us these, just so people don't be like, oh, but mine are taking forever, oh, whatever. But yeah, real fast, under 18 days, honestly. I don't, I don't want to say how fast, but <laughs> I'm going to say how fast. It's not exactly, <laughs> under 18, it's a good range. Faster than 18 now. Right in this box, ladies and gentlemen, we have the P111SC61s, 22 by 10s for a Audi R6, R7 fitment. Pretty uh, pretty standard finish on these. Nothing too crazy, but it should match the car pretty good. Gives that aggressive look. Let's just peep at the center cap first. Again, tape on everything. Gotta love it. What are they for? The R6. I thought the R6 was getting powder coated. No, that's a customer. He bought the stock. Oh, and they're getting powder coated for him. Yeah. So I love their center cap every time. 
comes with all the necessary lugs and everything. Ready to go, look at that nice packaging, boom, Apple style packaging. ASMR. 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 A, 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 A
Good stuff. That looks good. So we're just gonna use a little heat just to get the adhesive a little tackier so it sticks a little better. Just quickly go over it. Gets up the temp fairly quickly. It's not going anywhere. All right, so we are putting the decals on the calipers right now. We got them back from paint. Just, uh, just clean them up. We're gonna put them back together, go on the car. And then after that, wheels, and we'll put on the ground and see how it looks. put back together see look very nice decals on so we're gonna bolt them all up we're gonna bleed them and then uh, when we have brakes put the wheels on and drop this thing finally As soon as I pull that, as you see, it's already starting to come out a little bit through the top, so it's gonna make a mess. I just wanna make sure they're all on before you know, I start doing that process. <laughs> Last one here. I picked the wrong day to wear light colors. And this sweatshirt is hammered. That shit is tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it lifts it up right now. But that shit looks funny, dude. Yeah, that shit. Face down, ass up. This thing's parked up, tooted up. We got the rear lift kit installed. Has a muscle Re car stance right now. Got that reverse Carolina. <laughs> talking about. Do the back. <laughs> talking about. Nah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Maybe cut out a piece of wrap. Dude, you ripped mine off last time. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you ripped it off. Yeah, ripped it immediately off. I'm about to put some wrap on that, cut them right now. Where are the wrappers at? Yeah, we should actually do an outline in the teal. Excellent. And with the and with the fog lights. The demon, yeah. And with the fog lights. Yeah, put the, put the Nissan logo on a spinner. We should have at least tipped it the front headlights. We should have at least lowered it. Dude, I don't think this Slammed thing would have... Survived lowering it. Slammed the lowering it? process, this car would not survive. It actually doesn't look that bad. Honestly, for what it is, I'd rip it, it. Doesn't look that bad. I would rip the. <laughs> f out of this, thing. this would be a f dope ass day. Whoever gets this, you better daily the. F out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to see videos. <laughs> Who's got the cute keys? Yeah, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have that at all. <laughs> 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 